All right, but enough for him in the bathtub. I love that swim in the lower body. So I always take, and I, after I've been soaking for a while, and I go over my knees really well. It's also my favorite place to work on my feet after they've been soaking in the bathtub for a while. Okay, so after I've done my knee, I love taking a nugget, either, either you know, a solo nugget or the ends are the same. Now you do have a flat end and a pointy end. Of course, you can start with the flat one and then go to the point. And I just like going all around my kneecap, coming down into my, um, my upper thigh, my quad. And you can just feel it, it, it. It's usually like usually it feels like like um, it feels really good. And if you find a bad spot, this is your connector here. You can just kind of poke and wiggle on it, which just I go in and I shake. Then this is more of a crayoning method, and really do what feels good. And I do have I have some shower gel on here. I also once in a while I will use like a castor oil or a glycerin. Glycerin is water soluble. Um, the castor oil, it doesn't, uh, it's a little thicker and it doesn't uh, wash off too easily in the tub here. Okay, so then I come, I come all the way around that knee. It's just a nice place to do it. I can lay my head back. I've got a deep conditioner in my hair. I usually have a face mask on too, but I did my mascara. And then this is another great spot. This out here. Oh, those coronials are so nice, okay? So just use those nuggets. This is the perfect time to do it, okay? You can go all the way down, do everything, but I just wanted to give you a couple of tips. So just doing up there already makes my rotation feel better. Now, a couple of tips for the feet. You advanced blasters all know how to do your feet, but when you're in the bathtub, a couple of things. Take a ball, like um, you know, lacrosse ball or something. And after you've blasted your foot, this is a great place to push into that plantar fascia. Okay, so just use the end of your tub and smash it. How often do our feet get this hot? Okay, another tip while you're doing that foot, take your wash rag, it's not wet, and I'm gonna get some um, separation between my toes. So I used to have the yoga, yogi toe separators. Um, so now this is nice. Just to take um, whatever you have sitting around, a washcloth is perfect. Bask the weave between your toes. Get some separation on that foot. And work the plantar fascia in your other. So I, um, you know, just do whatever you can. Get creative. But definitely I take care, uh, advantage of Whenever I'm in hot, whenever, whenever I'm in hot water. <laughs> okay. Have a great day.